FHA cash out refi today. What's up, everybody? It's Jeff Trevartha, Jeff the Mortgage Pro. Thanks so much for watching my videos. If you really like these, make sure that you click that like button down below. And if you would like to have an update when they come out, there's a little bell button next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and click on that. And that way you'll be notified whenever my new videos come out, usually twice a week right now. And I love you as a subscriber and I really appreciate um, you helping me grow this channel because I want to be the number one mortgage originator on YouTube. And I think that your help will, will help me get there. So thanks for doing that. All right. Today, what we're looking at is FHA cash out refinances. And let me give you a couple of statistics first, which I think are really important. And uh, I think it blows my mind to think about some of these things. So in uh, according to CoreLogic, at the end of quarter one of 2023, that's the end of March of 2023, the average equity in a home in the United States is $274,000. That's a lot of cash, okay? And according to the New York Fed, the US consumer had a whopping $986 billion worth of credit card credit card debt at the end of Q1 2023. That's again, that end of March of 2023. $986 billion. That's $50 billion more than what it was at the peak of Q2 of 2019. That is astounding. That is a the highest number that we've ever seen for credit card debt in the United States. And it is continuing to exponentially grow right now. So I think that could get over $1 trillion really shortly here um, as we continue on in 2023. So two important statistics right there. Right now, the average credit card interest rate is 24.9%. That's as of July, 2023. And that's according to Forbes magazine. Two, 24.9%, that's 25%, that blows my mind. That's super high, right? And then the average car loan interest rate in July of 2023, according to Nerd Wallet, is 9.21%. Again, another astoundingly high number. So it's number one wonder that Americans are really feeling the pain. The inflation that happened in the United States over the last couple of years is really, really bogging down Americans. And that affects their ability to spend. And if you have these high interest rates on these things, it may be a good idea to do a cash out refinance. So here's one of the things, uh, there's three things you can do with a cash out refinance on an FHA loan. And, and why would you wanna do it on an FHA loan versus a different type of loan? So one of the things you can do with a cash out refinance on an FHA loan is you can go up to 85% of the value of the property. Okay, whereas on most cash out, cash out refinances for conventional loans, you can go up to 75%. The only other one is the VA loan, which is has an exception and you can go up to 100% of whatever the value is. So if you're a veteran, that's a super special loan, but an FHA loan is gonna get you a little bit better than what a conventional loan can do. So consider an FHA cash out refinance if you really need the cash and you don't have as much equity as you might need for a conventional type of loan, okay? So there's three things you can do with the FHA cash out refinance. And here's, here's a couple ideas. Number one is to pay off debt. That has to do with the statistics that we just mentioned. If you have car loans or if you have credit cards that are 24.9% or higher, if you have uh, car loans that are 9.21% or higher, then definitely uh, consider doing a cash out refinance. FHA loans, since they're backed by the government, they're not, they're insured by the government, they actually have a little bit lower than market rate uh, interest rates. And what I mean by that is they're going to be a little bit better than what conventional interest rates are. So it's something to consider uh, by looking at an FHA loan. So pay off that debt with this FHA cash out refinance. The second thing you can do is take a look at improving your property. Um, one of the things that will help you add value over time is to, is to improve your property. So things like updating the kitchen, adding a badger, a bedroom, adding a bathroom. Those are all potential things you can do to help improve the value of the property. I mean, the list is limitless, but we won't go through the list here and you can, you can consider what you want to do if you want to use the cash out to help improve your own property. Okay. And the third thing you do, and I kind of like this idea is to prepare for an opportunity or prepare for an emergency. So have that money kind of sitting on the sidelines by doing a cash out refinance, put it in savings for right now or something that's bearing interest so that it is hopefully not losing money versus what the interest rate of what you're paying is, but get it to the point where there's an emergency that happens. And that could be something like you lose your job and you need to have some money available, set aside, ready to roll. That money's available for you. So that'd be something to consider with the cash out that you take. And the other opportunity or the other thing you could do is take a look at an opportunity. And an opportunity means like what happens if there's a, you know, a car that I've always wanted to buy that's down the street that went into foreclosure, got repossessed and they're reselling it for $5,000. I'm going to go buy it because that's something that I've always wanted to do. And I'm going to take advantage of the market the way that it is. 
is. And then turn around and if I want to sell that in a couple of years for you know, a $10,000 profit, I might be able to do that. So that's an opportunity that may arise. Okay? You can think of many different opportunities where you could use that money for an investment purpose and you could definitely benefit from that going forward. So having that money available is super important. Okay, so those are three things you can do <clears throat> with the equity in your home. You can pay off debt, you can improve your property, you can pad your savings. What other ideas can you think of that you could use that money for? There's limitless opportunities out there for you to use that money on a cash out refinance. And remember, <clears throat> rates are going to be higher than they are than they were a couple years ago. We all know that right now. We've all moved on from the fact that there were two and a half and three and a half percent interest rates. Those are no longer there. Those are no longer available. So if you're doing a cash out refinance, know that the interest rate is going to be higher. But one thing they really consider is the cash flow of the property. And that's something that I want you to contact me for. If you have an opportunity to do an FHA cash out refinance, please reach out to me. And that way I can help you run the numbers and we can see if it's going to work or not. <clears throat> and we can see if it's going to be a benefit for you and, and not or not a benefit for you. And if it's not a benefit, benefit for you, I'll be the first one to tell you. So let's do that. Reach out to me. I'm going to put my Calendly link down below in the video, uh, in the description, and then also down in the comments so that if you have an opportunity and you want to reach out to me and we talk for 15 minutes, let's talk about your specific scenario and see if it makes sense for you to do an FHA cash out refinance. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to chatting with you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.